Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days, today's broadcast. Glorious children of Western Armenia, Haraj Kaptyelian. Artsakh women demand answers from Russian peacekeepers. Premier on the new program Art and Crafts of Western Armenia. Azerbaijanis have turned the Tikranagert part into a place of entertainment. 40 tons of garbage collected from the shore of the dried up lake fan. Forecasters predict heavy snow, ice and frost on the territory of Western Armenia. Cyprus Armenia Friendship Park officially opened in Nicosia. Switzerland-based Armenian benefactor and businessman Haraj Kaprielan is the chairman of Borat Artsaban and CEO Franz Muller USA, a Swiss luxury watchmaking company. Haraj claims to be a native Samuel Constant Napol, a statement that reflects both the city's diversity and a pride of the family whose story of survival began in the Middle Ages. Haraj's family legacy both agrees with his own and wears him down. He is an armchair academic, he seems impulsive and ready to fight, a man of deeds and not words. His first name means Fire Eye, a hidden omen that allows deep insight into the man's soul. Read the full material on our official website. According to the Luragir website, a group of Artsakh women met with the commander of the peacekeeping forces of Russian Federation, Lieutenant General Gennady Anaski, to express their concern about the unpunished crimes carried out by the Azerbaijan recently. This stated the need to review the existing security mechanism. The appeal lists Baku's crimes under the peacekeepers and the circumstances of the human casualties. The last was a bloody incident on November 9th. As the website notes, they previously addressed the topic of the presence of the Russian troops in Artsakh. According to the website, the peacekeepers are in Artsakh under the Armenian-Turkish deal. Security is not about peacekeepers but political guarantees in a form of the status and international recognition. Artsakh is not beholden to Russia. On the contrary, Russia will pay very dearly for everything it has been doing against Artsakh since 1813. The first issue on the program Art and Crafts of Western Armenia on Western Armenia TV is dedicated to felt making. Tawik Voskanyan from Western Armenia introduced this craft, which is widespread there, and as she often notes, the prehistory of art. She spoke in more detail about the felt making known in Bitilis, touching upon on the commonalities and differences on the works created on different times, presenting traditional and non traditional manufacturing technologies of felt making. After the 44-day war Tigranakert of Artsakh also come under the control of Azerbaijan and in the video posted on October 31, 2021, on the YouTube channel of Azerbaijan TV, journalist Sedet Mehmedova, it seems with special pride that the square of the Royal Tigranakert has turned into a place of entertainment, or rather into the snack bar. Thus, Azerbaijan violates the historical integrity of the cultural heritage, deprives descendants of the opportunity to pass on, on the heritage, which is against the number of international national principles arising from the UNESCO Convention on the World's Cultural and Natural Heritage. Western Armenia strongly condemns this latest anti-Armenian act of Azerbaijan against occupied Artsakh, just as it condemns similar actions of Turkey against Western Armenia. The teams of the municipality of Ipekelu province and one province of Western Armenia collected 40 tons of garbage on the shore of Lake Wan, where the water level of meters decreased due to the climate change. The governor and vice mayor of Ipekelu province, noting that such works on the mayor's office are aimed at raising awareness of citizens, said, by throwing garbage waste into the sea and on the coast, we not only pollute the environment, but also destroy nature. Most of these wastes are mixed with the nature and living beings are harmful since it takes many years to eliminate their influence. Let's live together in a clear environment without polluting nature, the sea and the air. According to the forecast of the National Meteorological Center, thick clouds are expanding in the northern and eastern regions of western Armenia. Precipitation in the form of the rain will be observed on the coast of the central and eastern Black Sea and in the provinces of Igdir, Badesh, Van Agra and Hakari in the form of the heavy snow. In addition, fog, ice and frost are expected in some areas of the Republic this morning and at night. Cyprus Armenia Friendship Park officially opened in Nicosia, attended by newly appointed Armenian ambassador to Greece, Tigran Mukarchan. The opening ceremony was attended by official representatives of the Republic of Cyprus, representatives of parties and spiritual leaders, and representatives of the Armenian community of Cyprus. Ambassador Mukarchan, noting that Cyprus is a friend of Armenia, at the same time highly appreciated the role of the Armenian community of Cyprus in the Armenian-Cyprus relation, expressing special gratitude to 
Edward Gess Matashan, on whose initiative the Cypress Armenian Friendship Park was opened. The event, organized as part of the opening of the Friendship Park, ended with the performance of the choir Surp Astvazadzin, the dance ensemble Sipan. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version is available on Western Armenia's official website on YouTube. This was all for today. Goodbye.